What's up guys, it's Jerome64 and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, in the last episode, we started the Deku Tree Dungeon and hopefully in this video we will complete it. Um, what we've really done so far, we've gotten the map and the compass and the dungeon item already. So, we're basically just trying to complete the dungeon now. I believe we'll be able to get it done in this video. Please forgive me, Master. I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is 2, 3, 1. 23 is number 1. Do you think I'm a traitor? Um, it's always that order, just by the way. No matter what save file you have, it's always 2, 3, 1. Alright, so. After you get into the water, if you hold down A, you can dive. I bet there's something interesting things underwater. Something interesting things. Why do I know ground? Anyway, so... Yeah. Now we've lowered the water there. Uh... Uh-oh. Kind of on a time limit, I guess. But that's okay, because we've gotten over. That did not work. Okay, that's all we did. Okay, just stop. I'll just shoot it. Fine. Alright, it's dead. Got a heart. Stand next to this block and grab hold of it with A. While holding A, you can push it or pull it. Stand next to the block and press A while pressing the joystick towards the block, you can climb on top of it. Pay attention to what the action icon says. Alright, so we're just gonna fold this over here. Alright, climbing on top. Alright, here we have a Deku Nut. So, we can basically blind our enemies. Um, not the most useful thing in Zelda, but it's just there. So, get some seeds. I believe we're almost to the first boss. Um, I'm probably wrong though. You gonna give us something? Yeah. Heart. Alright. That we won't be able to do anything about for a long for a while. Um so, this is where we want to go, into the hole. Okay, hang on. Sorry, uh, that dang, um, screensaver thing, it's so annoying. It's like pellets to wait over a thousand minutes and it doesn't do that. But, whatever. Enough about my technical problems. As you can see, we are now back in this room, and now we have a way up there. What you want to do is pull out a decking stick. And let's hop across. Do a roll right there. And, guys, we are really to the boss now. These are the brothers of that guy, so 23 is number one. So, let's 
two, three, and one. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. In order to administer the coup de grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. I wish that was that worked with everyone's secret. I'm going to annoy you. I'm going to make you so annoyed that you tell me. But, but like you annoy them and then they you don't even ask for the secret it's very quite weird alright guys so we are to the boss what you want to do is look up he and eyeball there's the boss parasitic armored arachnid go up Alright. Shoot it with a seed when the eye is red, and flash away with a sword. This fight is pathetically easy. See, we're already done. Yeah, that, took, that took, what, 30 seconds? Damn. Um, Alright, so, um, Goma is dead. And with her death, we get a heart container! Your maximum life energy is increased by one heart. Your life energy will be totally filled. Um, for this let's play, I will be getting every single heart container, every single piece of heart. So, this is pretty much a 100% run. Well done, Poland. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now I have yet more to tell you. Wouldst thou listen? No. And Roland? Thou must... No, Roland. Thou must know my time is short. <sighs> wow, I say no and yet he's gonna tell me. Now listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. Alright, now we have a long cutscene going here, so just settle down for a minute while I read it. Pretty much all I'm doing for the rest of this video should be. Alright, so there's Pointy Head McPolygon. The evil, or this evil man, ceasingly, ceaselessly used his vile sorcerer's powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Oh my gosh, I hate this music so badly. But it'll be maybe a year before I actually tell you why. Three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Din, the goddess of Power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Moror, the goddess of courage. And then they explode. But then we fought themselves. I don't know the god. Din. With her strong flaming arm, she cultivated the land and created the Red Earth. 
Nehru poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. And for Roar, with her rich soul, produced all life forms to the full of the law. Three great goddesses, their labors complete, departed to heaven, and the golden triangles remained there. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence, and the resting places of the triangles have become the, the sacred realm. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant valiant effort, efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. What? What? I'm awake. I'm awake. Roland, go now to Hyrule Castle. There, thou will surely meet the Princess of Destiny. You know, the one whose name is always in every video game title, even though you're the main, even though you're the main hero. Take this stone with you. The stone that the man wanted so much that he cast his curse upon me. You got the Kokiri's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the Great Dickens. The future depends upon thee, Roland. Thou art courageous. Navi the Fairy, help Roland to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi. Good. Go to Hyrule Castle, Roland. Goodbye, Great Denki Tree. And now, a moment of silence to honor the dead. Oh, crap, no time for that. Crap, 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 I'm running out of time. So, I will see you guys in the next video of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So, I will see you guys then. Later.